Hi, I'm Violet. And I'm her dad. And today we're going to be making Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Ready? Yeah. Okay. First thing we're going to do is make our sauce for our Brussels sprouts because we're frying them. For the whole thing, we need... Brussels sprouts, jalapeno, frozen mango, sugar, white wine vinegar, bowl, pepper, salt, and a good amount of oil. And I'm actually learning this for the first time, and the reason why I was very confused with the ingredients is because I'm surprised. The only thing I know about this dish is the name. Great. That is it. I'm going to put the mango in the pot. And you don't like your things very spicy, do you? No. Do you want a whole jalapeno or a half of one? Half. Put in half a jalapeno. Um, so how you properly hold a knife is you pinch the knife. Not where the blade is. Just right here. Right here. And then you grab with your other three fingers the hold of the knife. And then you cut. Should I cut it in? If you'd like. Can we get out the seeds? Into the pot it goes. Yeah, if you want to get the seeds out, we can. But there's going to be enough sugar in this, it's not going to be spicy. Why don't you just use the spoon to scoop it up? Make it a little easier. Why you want to take the seeds out is because it's gonna make it less spicy. Dad, where does the spiciness come from? Spiciness is held in this white membrane that holds the seeds. So the seeds are spicy just by association. Into the pot it goes. Move the seeds aside because if you don't, you're, there's a likely chance that your knife will slip, that your knife will okay. cut, and then it will slip on the seeds, and most likely it will cut you. And now that you've touched those seeds, your fingers are going to be spicy, so you should probably wash them. We just put the, some water with the mangoes and jalapenos. Throw one cup of vinegar in. For this, it yeah. should be one cup of water, one cup of vinegar, and one cup of sugar. But since this is so sweet, let's only use a quarter cup of sugar. Usually for a sweet and sour sauce, you do equal parts sugar, water, vinegar. But since the mangoes are so sweet, we're only going to use a quarter cup of sugar. Into the pot. Pot on the stove. Let's bring it to a boil. While we're waiting for that, let's clean some Brussels sprouts. And to clean a Brussels sprout, you're just gonna cut off the stem end. Fine. And cut them in half. And that's what we're looking for with a fried Brussels sprout. Still less fun. Make sure you check your Brussels sprouts if you end up finding uh, brown spots in the center. You don't want to eat that. That one doesn't look bad. Don't seem rotten. Nope. You're going to lose a lot of leaves when you do this. Here. Which is uh, Wait, just how it happens with Brussels sprouts. Ooh. Ooh, it was brown in the middle. Alright, 
Here, How do you know if there's a good Brussels sprout? You don't know until you cut them in half. How do you know that it's a bad Brussels sprout? It's because it's brown. If you wouldn't want to eat it, obviously don't. I mean, who would want to eat a brown Brussels sprout? All right, let's Can't get wait. on it. If you leave this part in, it's what's going to hold the Brussels sprout together. You're cutting a little too much off, and there's a chance it's just going to all fall apart in the fryer. Still fun to have the leaves. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you use the right grip. Right. Forgot. Dorito. Dorito. Dad, can you do some? Sure. Good. We got a good boil. We're just gonna let it reduce and thicken. <gasps> this is new. Now, when you're frying, you want, generally I want, a neutral oil that doesn't add any flavor to what you're cooking, and one that has a high smolder temp, which usually is on the bottle, and it'll tell you what temperature usually it'll, uh, what temperature it'll catch on fire at. So if it's a high one, it's usually somewhere over 450. That would be fine. Dad, why do you want to use corn oil when you can use avocado oil? We use corn oil because it's cheap. You can uh, use any oil you want. I wouldn't suggest extra virgin olive oil because it tends to have a low smolder point and will get bitter once it starts burning. Yeah. The corn oil doesn't taste like anything and... Won't burn. Right. It doesn't burn easily. So let's turn this on to a low frying temperature of right around 320, 325. Since there is so much water in Brussels sprouts, they're gonna pop a lot. And I know how dangerous this is. Super dangerous, so if you don't wanna do it, you don't have to, I'll do it. Daddy, the oil's moving. That's what happens when it heats up. Yeah. When this light goes off, you'll know that it's at temperature. We can also use the a wooden spoon trick if you want to prove that it's hot. Okay. Well, it's not hot yet. The light hasn't gone off. Can I see? Sure. Mm -hmm. Nope. No bubbles. Not hot. Dad, mm -hmm. what's the salt and pepper for? We'll season the Brussels sprouts once they come out of the fryer. You don't want to season them before they go in. Because then the oil would just wash it all away. It'll just wash it all away. Unless you, put, unless you want to be really delicate and put it really in there. Also, salt breaks down oil, so you generally don't want to salt anything that's going into the fryer. When we're frying, the rules are you want to do them small batches, and it's best if they don't touch each other. Oh, it's not going to matter once it's in the oil. Okay, now that this is reduced and everything, the fruits are cooked, we're going to blend it. And it smells like oil. Well, the oil part smells like oil, yeah. You can use a stick blender, a food processor, a blender for this. Stand back because it's very hot. And this is not a very good uh, blender or food processor. Don't touch that. There's no pulse. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Do you think it's thick enough? Yeah? Yeah. All right. We're going to put it back in the pot just to hold it. That's hot. Yes. Okay. It's hot. Watch out. This is very hot. I don't want you to get anywhere close to me. Okay. Yeah, you fry it. You sure? Okay. Now, since this has, it's a raw vegetable with a lot of water in it, it's probably going to bubble up and boil quite a bit. So, am I okay standing here? I think you're okay standing. All right. How long do you cook them for, Dad? You cook them until they turn golden brown. Okay, you can see that we are brown. We'll go to our bowl. And dump them in. You want to refill me? Back into the fryer we go. Good job. And some pepper. Not going crazy with either one, are you? And just swirl them around to get them all tossed up. Okay. Put some of our sauce over our Brussels sprouts. And stir it again. That stuff still into the pot goes. I look good, but I'm scared. And with everything fried, you have about 10 minutes to eat it before it starts getting pretty set. What do you think? Done? A little more time? Yeah. Good. Good? Into the pot. Okay, you want to season these up? Give them some salt and pepper. You gotta throw the sauce on. Got a lot of sauce and no reason to be shy with it. Okay, stir that around. Perfect. Right into the bowl it goes. There you go, still crunchy? Not sappy. Not yet. Nothing. Still hot. There we are, fried Brussels sprouts for me and my little one. And that's how you make Brussels sprouts with the sweet sauce. Good job, my love. Brussels sprout. All right, let's get on it.